I want to present to some, introduce to others, the overseer of the house of prayer, my mother, sister, minister, evangelist, grandma, mother, grandma, Jenny. things in my body and if we had speculated and prayed and sought God it would be up here. And I thank God for all of you and I want to say I, I want you to be blessed this day. I want to just I know I, I hope and pray pray that I'm gonna be up here long. But I want to tell you I but God woke me up this morning and I began to think about maybe some 20 years ago. There was a show on TV and the name of it was I Remember Mama. And the first thing we read about a phenomenal woman and Mama in the show was a mother to about six children. And the show might have lasted 30 minutes to an hour, and every week, every problem that ever came up, Mama saw it. The daughter had wrote the story, and she would narrate about Mama. And no matter what happened, Mama, every week, you know by the end of the show, Mama had solved the problem. Nothing that Mama couldn't do. And I began to think about myself as I reached almost my 75th year in a few months. And I said to the Lord, I want to find myself in the Word of God. I want to find myself so that when a day will come to Jesus Terry and somebody, one of my children, will write and want to say, I remember mom. Right. I, I want them to say something about mom. Amen. Amen. And I began to read about women and I in the Bible and I saw that they were rulers, they were queens, they were poets. They were prophets and they were virgins. All right? I wanted to find myself in the Word of God. I started reading in the book of Mark in the first chapter. I saw about the work of, of Jesus. Amen? And I found that He had come into the city and if you start in the first chapter, verses 37 to 45, I'm trying not to be long. Jesus had done some mighty things. And his fame had spread. And they brought the whole city to Jesus. And he was casting out devils in them. He was healing the sick. And I found that after this happened, when he retired into the home that was in the city, that early in the morning, he got up and he prayed. He went to a solitary place and he prayed. Amen? And you know, the disciples came and they found him. And they said a messianic prophecy that's coming to pass today. They said, Jesus, all men are seeking you. All men, everybody, the whole city. And Jesus said to them, let me go into the next city. 
Let me go, because this reason I gave you to the Lord. And so he left and he went all through Galilee. Now I want somebody to find the story of myself in Luke 13, verses 10 through 17. And I want somebody to read for me so I can get out the way real quick. Amen. Start at verse 2. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. Right. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. All right. Now, I want to take my time to tell you, when Jesus was in the synagogue on the Sabbath day, he was teaching there. And to confirm his doctrine and, and recommend it as faithful, he brought a miracle of mercy. I want all of you to understand that a lot of times when it's time to go to church, a lot of people find a lot of excuses not to go to church. They decide that it's, they tired or they got something to do and they don't have time, but this woman was in the right place at the right time. Amen, read a little more. Y'all pray for me, all right? It was all together. And could in no wise lift up her sex. Now, here in the church comes this woman. She was in such a shame that she was bowed down. She couldn't look up. She couldn't lift herself. She was crippled by the circumstances of her life. Come on. You know, they had a commercial a while back and they said, they showed somebody walking, tilted, and they said to them, you need a V8. You needed a spiritual drink. You need a V8. But here was a woman bowed down for a long period of time, crippled by the circumstances of life. Some of you might say, you're not bowed down, but honey, you might not realize it, but when you can't look up and see that Jesus came to cast devils out, to save that which was lost, you're bowed down, your soul is looking at the world. You're looking down at the earth, and you can't see Jesus. But you know what? The story goes on. And I know some of you might say, well, Oh, she be talking to me. Because as soon as I get out of here, I'm going to do what I want. But I want to tell you that something took place. There was a miracle of mercy. Jesus was there to perform a miracle. All right? And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thy infirmity. Amen. I want to tell you today, I know that I'm not teaching kids tonight, don't tell you to get ready to get ready to get ready. But I want you to know that whatever life has thrown your way, that's caused you, that you cannot look up, you are bowed down. Come on, come on. But Come to the church house on Sunday morning and leave crippled. But 